Hey there, in this video we are going to understand closures in C++. It's one of the many short videos from 9 So what is closures? Closures are based on C++ Lambda. Uh, you might already be using it without realizing that it is a closure. And the best way to remember closure is to understand a term called enclosure. It's pretty much same. So to understand, let's write a function which returns a Lambda. So here I am writing a function called func which returns a lambda and a main function which calls this function and actually calls the lambda written by the main function. Here you can see that the function is actually returning a lambda and the lambda function is using the capture list uh, by means of equal to sign. And in the main functions, uh, the func is returning a function which is being called in the next line. The output of the program when we run the program is uh, function lambda I equal to 100 which is absolutely correct. Something unexpected have happened over here which you might not have noticed. So let's see the code again to notice the same. Here is the code again, the function as, as well as the main function. Now you can see there is a local variable called int i equal to 100. This variable is local to the scope of the function func, but it is returning as part of lambda function and it's being successfully used in the main function. This is what closure does. Okay, this happens because of closures. So we can define closure as something like this. Closures allows local variables to be accessed outside its enclosed scope. Okay, so here we are uh, declaring a variable inside.